What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Jay Cruz, a.k.a. known as the Audio Cat Man, and we are going to have a great day today. We are going car shopping. We're going to be shopping for a car for my father, and uh, I'm going to kind of explain to you all a little bit of what's going on so you guys can understand why this is so important to me. So back when I was, um, we used to live in California. I was born in New York. We used to live in California. And to make a long story short, um, you know, my dad was a very, very blessed man. All I can say that at the age of, um, hold on, let that stop even. At the age of 13 years old, my father gave me a 1969 Stingray 427 Corvette. Um, I couldn't even, I didn't have my license to even drive at that point in time, but he gave me that car. And, um, you know, through circumstances of life, of things that go on in life, and sometimes we make mistakes in life and stuff like that, uh, we ended up leaving from California to move to Florida. And uh, my father always kept his word in which he told me that whatever you give is yours. You know what I'm saying? You don't touch that back. So if somebody gives me a present or somebody gives me a gift, they should never be able to take that back. That's called Indian giving. So long story short, he gave me that Corvette and we ended up moving to Florida. And when we moved to Florida, the arrangements he had made in California when he sold his business to his best friend slash manager, the guy did not complete with the word. After almost six months of living in Florida, uh, he, the guy decided to, decided to stop paying my father the $7,000 a month he was paying for the business. The business was a very fruitful business. Um, and he was just trying to get out of pain. So they got into lawsuits and so on. And uh, there's a lot of history in that point right there, what I'm talking to you guys about today, guys. But, you know, the history was that in reality, um, sometimes the enemy wants to take you back to where God just took you from. And, and, and I'm gonna leave it at that. But sometimes God wants to move you from one location to another location and, and make you move on to the next level in your life and arranges everything to happen. And the enemy wants to put his two cents into it and tries to make you go back, right? But my father is a man of commitment and my father's a man of a word and you know say to him it was more important to keep the uh commitment that he had made to god at that point in time he, he, he gave himself to the lord and uh you know let's just say california wasn't living the life that he should have been living right god had a bigger plan a bigger purpose for him so he ends up giving himself to the lord and moving to florida and the enemy starts tempting him to come back uh, money started to get really bad in, in Florida when we got there. It was like my dad was almost cursed. We were young and my dad would go apply and I remember that because I would go with my father sometimes. It was summertime and they would have a help wanted sign in front of a business. My father would go in there to apply for the job and as soon as he would walk in to tell that they weren't hiring and he would say, but you got to help one. It's like, yeah, but we're not hiring and people were really nasty to him and people were really bad to him. Uh, and I got to witness all this. I got to understand there at that point in time how it is that the enemy works really hard to try to push you backwards and not let God push you forward. So, uh, we ended up going through a lot of moments in sc when school started. I remember that we didn't even have money. There was no jobs. Uh, my father couldn't get a job. And I used to remember it wasn't that he was lazy, it's that he would apply and, and all the doors were shut for him. God was really testing his patience, testing his, his faith, right? And uh, we can see the testing of faith in the story of Job and a bunch of other Bibles, uh, other stories in the Bible. But long story short, he kept on persevering. And uh, God always, some ways or uh, the other, was supply. I mean, there's a big testimony. We'll talk about it with him when in an interview. But um, it came to the point where my dad had to sell his Rolex and sell everything that we had to try to survive. But he never sold my Corvette because he always gave me that car. When my dad gives you a gift, the gift is yours. Well, it came to a point where things were so bad that my father sat with me one day and goes, Jeff, we need to talk. And I said, Dad, I already know. You know, I was already well, wise enough to know what was going on. I was like 14 years old at that point. And um, I said, uh, let's do what we have to do for the family. And my dad started to cry because he said, look, and I'm, I, I would never want to sell this, you know, but I, I, we're really in a bad case and there's an opportunity for me to open up a business if I can get this money from this car because we just can't do nothing. And um, I don't testify, but that, that the day before uh, this happened, his pastor of his church that he was going to at that time came and told him at a gas station that um, the trial that he was going through was now over. And I remember that he came home streaming and, and hollering, listen, God's trial's over. And uh, he came and told me, listen, man, we, we, let's sell the Corvette and I'll buy you something else. And I trusted my father. So long story short, guys, um, we ended up selling that 1969 Stingray 427 Corvette. My dad sold it. We opened up Satellite tonight. From there, I opened up my first beeper store. And from there, I've been in business since. I've been in business since I was 16 years old uh, from that Corvette. I can tell you we've multiplied that multiple times. But um, 
you know, I believe that God permits us for for times like this and do what we have to do. And what happens is, is that we ended up, um, you know, working through the years and, and doing what we do. But now the time has come to replace this Corvette for my father. And it's a privilege and honor to be able to do this for my dad today. We are going to go look at Stingray Corvettes. It's not gonna be a 69. We're actually looking at the Z06s, uh, 17, 18, something in that year range. Uh, 16 to 17, I'm sorry. 16 to 17 Z06 Stingray Corvettes. Uh, we went and saw one yesterday. Uh, we're gonna go look at another one today and make a decision, but it's gonna be a privilege and honor to be able to help him get this car back again, you know, because the enemy takes things away, but God gives it back to you bigger and better. So we're here at the dealership. My pops, pops, come over here, say to the YouTube. We're talking this morning and some motivational oh. stuff. Come on. <laughs> You know, it's too early. Yeah. It's too early, it's too early for Pop, man. But look, he's too over early. here today, man. We're doing the shopping we said we're gonna do, and we show him them this one, y'all. But this is a Corvette Z06, as y'all can see. Not a regular Corvette. Supercharged, peanut butter interior, drop top that we came to bring my father to see this morning. And uh, he's like, a, we'll see how he likes it when we take it outside now. But this is the baby we're talking about. This is one of the two options that we have, man. We have another black one that we've also seen, but we're gonna pull this one outside to take a look at it and see what the pops decides about his potentially new Machine. Corvette. But as y'all can see here, we got a Corvette, we got Ferraris, Shelby's, they got good inventory, they even got boats over here. Yeah, this is called Legend Motor Group or Legend Motor Cars. I found them on the internet and I'm pretty impressed. I like their inventory because the regular cars they got here, but check this out. Look when you come to the other side, look at all the babies you get to get to see over here. But they got that beautiful yellow Z06 Corvette. It's uh, probably a 11 or 12 model. They got some regular cars here. Got some BMWs, they got some 392 6.4 liters. They got Challengers, Chargers. They got a lot of trucks and inside the showroom they have some nice cars too, but it's not what we came here for. We came here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to see, get your lighting, to see the Z06 as it rolls down here. So let's see how he likes this car. Yeah, that's fine. Right there, good, you know? That's the vet. Right there, good. So you can see it's like a dark greenish, bluish metallic. Got a unique little color to it. I actually yeah, do like the color. color. What you think about it so far? I get started on the appraisal sheet here. All right. Um, I want to see what this is. Key. I'll just a little test drive in the vet. Make sure everything's 100% working the way it should be. Make sure the paperwork is right and uh, get this deal closed up and ready to go. So we're about to walk in here right now and look for our guy, Jason, who is our sales rep. How you doing, Jason? Yeah. Well, I like the guns they got right there. Y'all gotta see that right there. Legend Marine Group, but I guess the guy who owns this is a Marine. Am I right? I guess, you can see by the Marines. The vet's over there, I guess Jason's doing his paperwork. Let me go show y'all the vet again before we make this purchase and uh, get it rolling, man. So this is what the girl looks like. Walk into the door. You already see what they got in here. They got Shelby's, Ferraris, but this is the girl that's going for dad. So you can see that's the dark blue metallic. You can see that dark blue on there with the blue top, peanut butter interior, drop top Z06 Corvette. And she is going home today. Jason is the guy who got the deal done for us over here, man. We're gonna go and, like I said, go drive and make sure everything good. We yeah, haven't yeah. done that part yeah. yet. Yeah. And uh, review the paperwork. So when they come in, they're ready to just do what they gotta do and be out the door. Yeah, yeah I shouldn't take too much, but we're gonna go try this out, guys. If everything works out good, then we'll be taking this baby home today with my father. Look there in the middle, let me zoom in for y'all. You have your eco mode, you got your touring mode, your sports mode, your track mode. Uh, more than likely, when you come to tour mode, the exhaust shuts up, y'all can't hear it. You go to sports mode, causes the exhaust to open up. Y'all hear that? You go to tour. See the car's quiet? Then you come here to sports mode, exhaust open. Now it's more louder, y'all see that? But this is what's going on with the vet, man. We're gonna go for a test drive real quick. You can tell everything about it. It was built by the guy who's made the car. Look at this guy. Look how funny this is. The guy who built his name was Kurt D. Dodge. This is the guy who made this car. That's the VIN number of the car. Uh, that's pretty interesting, man. So 
So we're here with the vet, y'all. We got Mama Dukes right here. That's the one that needs to make sure that he stays in line and that he does everything the right way on this decision. So mom, dad, this is y'all moment. What y'all want to do? Oh, Mama says it's clean. What does daddy say? Yeah. Daddy said, let's go to the office and negotiate. All right, let's go. I got to get going, y'all, but we got everything situated. Paperwork is good. Numbers were good. Uh, so now we'll be heading out of here and uh, going on the highway, going home. I know daddy just got the car, so it's not going to be pressure. We'll do a video with him outside. Hopefully, you appreciate what God has done for him, man. And I know he does, man. I know he does, but let's just go do a... I know he can't believe that it's his yet, but as soon as he gets the key, we'll do a video and show you how he feels to be blessed by God. All right, y'all, so we just finished doing the paperwork with mommy and daddy on their Corvette. They're about to take delivery on this car. Come over here, guys. I want to tell you, how do you feel right now, dad and mom? I'm all right. I'm all right. Mommy's not too thrilled. How do you feel, big boy? I'm hungry. Besides being hungry, how do you feel about your purchase? Can't wait till I whip you. Man, he wants to take out the audio cap, man. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we're about to find out. But not today. I'm going to give him a chance, y'all, so he can actually get used to his car and not have excuses that he was spinning or he didn't know the car. I'll give you a few days and then I'll pull the chain so I can whoop your ass in the car. You're gonna learn what audio cat is today, buddy. But anyway, we're about to do delivery of the car, y'all. We're gonna go outside, they're getting it prepped and ready. And uh, we should have this car delivered in a minute. Then I'm gonna go interview my father and bring some memories to him and see what happens as he takes delivery of his Corvette today. So we got delivery of the vehicle. Daddy and mommy jumping. Look at the first thing he put in. Look, y'all, look at this. Look what he's doing up there. Let you know. Where he what? come from, Boricua, oh, Boricua, baby. Dad, so I want to interview you before you leave. They're gonna take a picture, but I want to bring something to you and see how your feelings are. So mommy's sitting in the corner. Yes, you got two lights to flick in the plate. We got mommy and daddy sitting right there. Now I gotta make a thumbnail, but besides that, dad, before you go anywhere, we gotta talk. You gotta come outside. But let them take their pictures for you. Yeah. So we got our guy here, man. He's the one that does F and I with the financing over here. Thanks your name for everybody. You My name's Joe. This is Legend Motor Cars in Carrollton. If you need especially hot ride cars, come see me. That's definitely, man. We got this, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the price was right, man. But I already told y'all before, they got a lot of mold parts, they got a lot of other cars going on here. So you really have to choose what you like. They got some exotics inside. Look at the place, Legend Motor Cars. You already know where they at, guys. But now I gotta do the biggest thing, period, point blank, is that I gotta bring daddy out the car so we can actually talk about this Corvette that he has just taken possession of. So walk outside, let's give God some glory. First of all, I want you to tell me how you feel about your Corvette. I feel really good, but I'm gonna feel better when I give you a lesson. When well, you give me a lesson to the audio cat? Chevy is in the house. Chevy's in the house, but let's go something more sense to I want you to read what he said here, look, look. He said what? Z06. Z06. That's a good thing. See, that's for you to see. Well, no. Now, we, we, my question is, what kind of newspaper you want me to put in the back so you can read while I read you? What yeah, that, that's what he's thinking, but I'm going to get to something more deeper than that. Oh, okay. Go. Why does this Corvette mean so much to me today? I'm going to explain to you guys. In life, let me get this way because we need more sunlight. In life, I don't think there's anybody in life who could guarantee say that we've lived life without making mistakes and without doing things sometimes the wrong way, knowing the right, but we do the wrong. And those things um, cause us to have to go through certain situations in our life to teach us lessons. Do you agree? Yes. Today he is a pastor of a church. He's my father. He's a pastor of a church. He's been pastor now for how many years, Dad? 30 years. About 30 years he's been a pastor. And what I want to talk about right now, if we take this good moment, I want to bring something to y'all. Because God, when, when you started to live your life and you did your things and our mistakes and whatever thing happened in life, and you gave yourself to the Lord, God had to pass you through a process. Yes. And in the process that God had to pass you through, painful. it was a painful process. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful you said that, but it was a painful process because God had to basically strip everything that you knew of who you were to yes. teach you who he was in you. That's right. And in that process, you lost the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette. That meant a lot to me. Which was your toy. Was Along toy. that process, guy, he lost the Rolex, another thing he had to sell. The story, we'll do a testimony video one day, but just so you know how much the heartbreak is, God had to strip him down from everything to humble him, to bring him down to a point where God can say, listen, it's not what you can do, but it's what I can do through you. And through that process, God started to work with him. But the Bible teaches me through the story of Job that when Job was tested through through God, he was permitted to be tested and the devil went and took a lot of things from him, his health and so on. But when God gave it back to him, he gave it to him better. Look at this. And today, I want to tell you that God wants to tell you, Dad, that God has given you back what the enemy took away back in 1990. God has gave it to you bigger and better. Now this one is different because not only is it super fast, but you can drive it anywhere you want to. That's right. And that's not only the only thing, that when God does something, guys, he does it right. I'm going to tell you right now, I love the car. I know he loves the car. 
And I am so grateful that you have this. No, you're gonna go for it right now, y'all. Show us that smile, show us that smile. Woohoo! So we right here for the shop right now, man. I'm waiting for Pops to come and drive through. Uh, he's bringing me lunch because I'm hungry. But uh, it's that day, he's at the light. He should be coming through from that light any minute now, man. But we're grateful for the blessing of God. Look, guys, look at this, man. The shop is always busy. We always got cars here. That's a beautiful thing that God has given to us, man. It's unreal, but we're gonna go show you. But we're gonna see Pop driving up any second now. We see Pop driving up. Let's see, he says at the light. Let's see if we can see him at this light. Here comes the traffic. Uh-oh! There go Pops. Oh, Pops. Oh, by my camera, God dang. Pops is here. Let's go see. Come here. I, I want you to see Pop's hey, car. Come on. Y'all go see Pop's car. Pop happy. Come on, back here. Pops is back here. There go Pops. Look at him. Oh, 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 oh. Clean the parking lot. Clean the parking lot before Pop come and park his car. <laughs> Oh, it's only a trip. All right, all right now. Woo! <laughs> Stunning. How you feel, Pops? You know Lambadors are coming out. Are you doing your first burnout yet? You didn't see a couple of them in the front? Man, Pops, you I want so to say here. thank to Jeff. Oh, yes. And, and thanks uh, to God, man. His kindness. And he was the one that made it possible. Man, well. Well, you know what? With God, all things are possible. That is not really that. I, I can't tell you in words how grateful I am to have you as a father. You've been so good to me. And this is the little bit of things that I could do back to you for everything that you did for us, man. And I want to tell you thank you, Pop. Thank you. Taking delivery of a Z06. <laughs> she already hit the curve. No, nah, I got it like that. That's that part of what I got. Come here. Let me show you something here. Watch this. Tony Snow. Yes, sir. No, it ain't no regular. Look at that. This car runs. Oh, oh, I think it's still like that. Big boy. Look at that. Man. On the air flowing through here. Boy. Yeah, I don't even. Yeah. Uh, I don't even want to film it. they going to say I'm flick, baby. Going too many cars, man. Going too many cars. Oh, you just waiting on the air to come through. That's what I'm saying. I don't even want to post it on my channel. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. This boy. <laughs> Tony, man, you're a special kind of guy, man. Yo, but you want to see something that kills it? Watch this. Hold on, hold on. Record for me, real. Gotcha. Yeah, give me the key. Bam. Let me show you something that kills it. Give me the key. Right. Oh, oh. Hell, 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 hell. Hey, look, they finally. Hey, man, the hood up. Don't forget. <laughs> Change modes and everything. Oh. Look at the color. You can do it with a truck, eh? Look at that blue. Oh, Pops. Oh, Pops. Man, let me get that thumbnail. Let me get that thumbnail. Oh, we right there. Bam, taking delivery. Taking delivery. Hold on, hold on. Let me start hitting some buttons. Sorry, but I ain't getting none of that. I was trying to take your thumbnail. It's all good. Outside the car. Oh, man. On the remote. What? <laughs> on the remote, y'all. Look. On the remote. That's crazy. Uh. That remote yeah. McDonald's getting Oh, oh man. Don't be like Kevin Hart. Oh, it was too hot outside. Let me turn on my AC so he could come here and just hit the button down. Oh. Oh. Woo. He ain't ready. He wasn't ready. Say it one time for a Sony snow. <laughs> Come on. You, have, you know you gotta put it in sports mode and do it. 
change it? Change it? You know you gotta get in and hit that gas. Oh, oh I just heard it. That's normal mode? That's normal. Sports mode. There we go. Okay. We see you. You guys like 12 <laughs> I'm just grateful that daddy has a toy and I'm grateful that he's happy. Y'all got to see it first, man. Y'all got the video, but today's the day he brought it to the shop, man. I'm glad. Man, they don't want to see, they don't want to see the back. They want to see that in the background. They want to see this. They want to see that. We want to say thank y'all truthfully, man. Like I always tell you guys, pay forward for what God has done for you. God will always bring it back to you. Keep God first. Stay positive. Stay motivated. And God will give you your dreams, man. Believe me, I tell you, it, it, it maybe it's not through your own pocket, maybe to somebody else. God will use somebody to bring your blessings to you. But you gotta stay positive, you gotta stay focused. You have to truthfully believe that everything is possible to God. My father has been through hell and back, and I honor my father. There's some words that my father gave me many years ago when a decision will have to be made. And I honor him for those words. He told me, Jeff, you know what? I made a promise at the altar. And I also made a promise on the altar before God as being a man. So I'm breaking two words right now. And he kept his family together. And long story short, he was celebrating multiple years later together that I'm here next to him. So I've been able to be raised with my father. As my father being next to me, raised me my mom and my household. There's a lot of, we're gonna do a testimonial video for this guy, but the point is, is that the devil took away his Corvette, the devil took away his Rolex when he had to fix his life up. And today, God has given back everything, but God has given back everything that God has took it from my father. God has given back to him and he's used me to be able to bless him. And I'll tell you what, the greatest thing that I have is being able to bless my father today. For that, happy you, Father's Day. Day. Happy Taking delivery of a Z06 Corvette. No clickbait. We will clickbait around here, man. Thank you for the beautiful gift. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, Pops. Now you got to go to car meets with us. And you're gonna keep up. <laughs> Look at him. This guy right here, that old takeover king right here. Pops, you like it? I, 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 I know. He said, huh, huh. He couldn't even get it out. He said, huh. I know. I ain't enjoying it, man. Man. I used to the gas station pumping gas. The girl was coming to say, nice car. Nice car. Yeah. And the guy, all the men was coming to his car and said, beautiful car. I said, man, you know what I mean? You get yeah. Bless, man. You blessed. I'm gonna clean it up right now. I'm yeah, I know you fit to. I know you got to. I know it. You might well go and pull it up, go and get the washing, do it, wipe your wheels and everything. Hand wash. Hand wash. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all want to thank you guys for watching, man. Thank y'all for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget that notification tab. Thank y'all. God bless.